Today, let's understand the concept of string pool in Java. What it is, how it works, and why it even exists. Let's start with a simple line. Employee A equals to new of employee. Here, A is a reference stored in stack memory. And the actual employee object is stored in the heap memory. Now, if instead of employee, we write string A equals to hello. Just like before, A is a reference stored in the stack. But hello is stored in heap memory. Now, suppose we write A equals to A plus Java. At first, we might think hello gets updated to hello Java. But that's wrong. Java doesn't work that way for strings. Instead, a new string hello Java is created in memory. And A now points to that. That's because strings are immutable. Once created, they cannot be modified. Now let's say we write string B equals to hello. Would this create another hello in memory? Remember, strings are immutable. So why to duplicate them? Hence, instead of creating a new hello every time, Java maintains a string pool, a special area in the heap that stores unique string literals. So now both A and B point to the same hello in pool. And hence, A equals equals to B returns true. So what if we write string B equals to new of string hello? This creates a new object in the heap outside the pool. So now A equals equals to B is false because there are two different objects. But we can still force the new string into the pool using intern method. Now C points to the hello in the pool. And since A was already pointing to the pooled hello, now A equals equals to C is true. Both refer to the same interned string. Now the question is, why all this effort? Answer is simple, because string pool saves memory, avoids duplicates, and hence makes comparison faster, especially using double equals to operator. And that's all about the string pool in Java. Hope you find it helpful. If you did, like the video and share it with your friends. But hey, wait a second. Is there an integer pool or a character pool or a double pool or a float pool too? Do let me know in the comments and also suggest new topic which you wish me to cover in the same way. Thanks.